grinds rocks up to 6 inches in diameter. Uh, it's able to grind asphalt, black box, uh, concrete. If you get concrete loose with rebox in there, rebox on the machine, the machine will grind the concrete and speed the rebox up. Um, like I said, it's an hydraulic unit with a 63cc hydraulic motor, um, 28 carbide feet. Uh, and in this situation, the feet they may last around 500 hours of work. Um, very easy to maintain, very easy to operate. Um, and that's what we did earlier. You know, just to show, uh, if you want to go more into the technical yeah. side of the compaction yeah. stuff, that's here. Yeah, um, actually. He went down here. You can see there's about four inches fluff. They, they probably went yeah. down in, into the surface about two inches. We didn't want to go real deep. It'll go sick. We didn't want to go real deep because we're not quite sure what's under here and everywhere. Um, if you see here how it's, it's consolidated material, it's fixed it, it's mixed it real well. Um, one of the things you, that you can look at with this is that you can do uh, areas of your roadway where you have a big pothole problem. So you can take it down six inches. You can add some lime if you've got clay soils or, or you could add other stabilizers um, to it as, as, and uh, work it back in with the machine and then uh, you need something to profile when you're done you know uh, dozer or grader in our situation we had the ranger over there with the blade so we're a little limited in what we were able to do here uh, and then you want to always consider compaction you want to consider compaction and optimal moisture Okay, so you want moisture in the soil for you to you know, be able to get compaction. Now, we're, optimal moisture is a very narrow range that you have to work with. Uh, most of the soils you guys will be working with, uh, you only have about 2% where you're going to get maximum compaction to play with. If it's too dry, it won't compact. If it's too wet, it won't compact. Now, we didn't have any way to add water to this. This is a tad on the dry side. If you notice the, par the parking area behind you here, we, we just did that while we were waiting between buses. Uh, that had a, a rough surface, as you can see in here, and it had a lot of potholing. And um, with, with the machinery we had and the conditions we had, I, I don't think the final product was too bad. Um, like I said, excellent. This machine will go through whatever is in front of you, okay? So, I mean, if, if you get into shelf rock, uh, limestone, sh uh, shards, uh, it, it just uh, mince meets it, you know? It, it's not like a lot of uh, full depth reclamation machines will actually, it just doesn't pulverize, they more throw the material to the top. So if you have cobble underneath, it's gonna bring it back up to where you don't want it, up to your surface. Where this machine kind of makes everything a uniform size to your back. This is the smallest that we have, the five footers, and we get up to go up to nine foot of cutting width. Uh, but that would be for a video trap, trap. You need for the big one, you need a trap for all the least one, 60 of power to the clip of the other And if the, the big one would go down like 16 inches to the ground and right props up to 20. We do have one of the people who probably can talk to you. Yeah. And then after we operate the machine, we can lift that so we can look at the teeth and build the inside. Okay, so what, what's the horsepower? The pump capacity is a lot more. Right? This, this skid steer has been modified to handle the, the, the flow that it needs to push this thing. Yeah, you can bring your, bring your skid steer uh, with 90 horsepower. 37, 38 gallons per minute. Any questions? No, they're more the better, obviously, but... Right. Uh, Dave. Uh, Carl uh, Nutson here. Yeah. Um, he he uh, has a business in, in Maryland, and uh, he was nice enough to come up here and demonstrate the machine for us. Um, he's available if you know if you guys need uh, some some work done. Um, his cards and his cards and videos. They will be right over here in the corner. And yeah. we'll come back up through literature there too. Um, like a, uh, the price tag on this unit is about 35 grand. Okay, so, but uh, like I said, if, if you got small areas you want to look at, uh, you can get a hold of Carl here. I'm sure he'll come up and take care of the needs. Questions? Okay, well, we'll move. Uh,
He's going to do a pass in here so you can sell it, and then he'll lift the machine up to yeah. see the T. So we want.